What I want to touch on next is words. Do you believe words have power? Yes. I do. And whenever I talk to someone, I could tell through their words what their current financial life is now and what their financial future is. The good news is that we can change. If you change your words, you change your world. When you say certain words or phrases, they stop you from becoming creative. Forbid yourself from thinking or saying these words. We do catch ourselves sometimes, but you must learn to forbid yourself. I'll just take this off. It's okay. <laughs> I can't afford it. Would you agree it stops you right there? Yeah. It limits you? Yeah. Instead, say this. Use these words of power. How can I afford it? Does that get you thinking? I'm thinking of this beautiful house, beautiful car. And then you shut yourself down and say, I can't afford it? No. When you start thinking, how can I afford it? You learn. Next, well, I will never be wealthy like him or her. That shuts you down. But if you change it to, what can I do to become wealthy like him or her? That changes everything. It makes you creative. Money is the root of all evil. Do we hear that a lot? Let me tell you this. Money is neither good nor evil. It's merely a tool. Okay? Let that sink in. And if you believe this, and you want to be a good person, you won't want to have any money. Understand that. Instead, say this. Money is a tool to do good and help others. And this last one. I have no money. Lots of people say that. But I forbid myself from saying it, and I hope you forbid yourself from saying it too. You can say something like this instead. Be creative. I am just temporarily short on cash, and I have some accounts receivable coming in. So, how much is that accounts receivable? Well, that's how you're gonna, your creativity, that's how your creativity will come into play, right? 